Hello, welcome to the Dave Trumbo Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce, joined with Stevenson Women's Volleyball Head Coach Dave Trumbo. And Coach, um, we're about three or four weeks into the season now. I'm um, just kind of talk about um, how the season's gone for you so far. Well, it's been a little rough. Uh, <laughs> we lost two matches last year, and we've already lost six this year. Yeah. But uh, we kind of knew that coming in. We really loaded up with really competitive teams yeah. uh, at the beginning of the season because that's the only way we're going to get better. Yeah. I mean, we've got to play teams that are better than us, and we lost a couple of five-set matches that were heartbreakers. Yeah. Uh, but I really do think that that has boded well in getting us better faster mm -hmm. because we start our conference play the, really the first full week of the season. Right. Uh, so, you know, we had Messiah, we've had Leb Val already, so it was important to play those tough games early. Yeah, and certainly, like you said, obviously with some new players in the rotation, you know, you've had people maybe in different roles than they've played in the past, and they're getting that experience, and you can see on the court some of the players that have, you know, like a Darian Heilman mm -hmm. or Sarah Riggin that have played a lot more and are improving match by match. Yeah, they really are, uh, you yeah. know, confidence-wise yeah. and uh, making the big plays in the game. And Darian has just uh, really stepped up, I yeah. feel like, and uh, has played a big role in all facets of her game, you know, her serving or passing or hitting. And so I'm just really pleased for her. And uh, Sarah Riggin, the same thing. Yeah. She's reading so much better and um, able to make plays that maybe two weeks ago she couldn't make. Yeah. Another one, too, um, obviously your two seniors, Mariah Savage and Chelsea Ireland, they've stepped up and Chelsea's really stepped up as well in some different areas. Yeah, it is very interesting when the leadership graduates who is going to fill that void yeah. and really not, it doesn't have to just be a captain, but yeah. Ch Chelsea and Mariah have really done a good job. We're working with a lot of uh, team bonding type of, uh, uh, thi of things and uh, we really like our freshman class that came in and, and Chelsea and Mariah are stepping, off, stepping up on the court and off. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's kind of talk about touch upon. Obviously, you've played, like you said, several tough opponents, but a couple of matches, just in particular. One is um, the Messiah match, you know, very intense match. Um, you went up there, won three to one. You know, really kind of a playoff level intensity in that yeah. match. Oh, yeah. And um, you just kind of talk about that match and how that went. Well, I, you, you know, when you go to Messiah, one, you're going to get a huge crowd. Yeah. They're not going to be unsportsmanlike, but they're going to be really loud. Right. Uh, and it was the first time we played in front of a crowd like that. Yeah. And it was, it, was, it yeah. got a little bit rough. And yeah. it was, you know, but uh, fortunately we made some big plays at the right time. The girls really followed the strategy and the style we wanted to play that night. And so we felt very fortunate to come out with a win at Messiah because they are a very good team. Yeah, especially in that first set, you were down pretty big oh. and were able to come back yeah. and win that first set and kind of not shift momentum because obviously they came back and won a set, but um, you were able to shift the momentum a little bit and kind of carry that into the rest of the match. Absolutely agree. Um, we were down 24, 21, yeah. and we're able to pull that out. And that was um, tough for them to respond from and just really helped us. And yeah. so in the second set, we handled things pretty well. And then they kind of got the momentum back right. in, the, in the third set and beat us. And then the fourth set, we jumped off to a great start and uh, we were able to hold on at the end. Yeah. And then um, last week at home, you had a try match. Um, you played Rutgers Camden, and you played Eastern, who's a team you've had some battles with over the years. And um, unfortunately, didn't win that one. But obviously, as we talked about after the match on Saturday, you know, showed some stretches where you played fairly well. Yeah, and that's you know, we just have to consistently play well longer. Mm -hmm. You know, we did not play well in the first and second set. In the third set, we really played well, and that has something to do with Eastern didn't play as well. Right. You know, and the fourth set was kind of up for grabs. Yeah. Uh, and then with, that's happened a couple times this year. Yeah. You know, we played Christopher Newport when they were ranked 23rd, and we're serving for match point. Didn't right. win. The next weekend, Christopher Newport beats the number three team in the country. Yeah. Okay. Well, so how far away are we? Right. You know, we're we're, we're close. We're right, close, absolutely. so we mentally have to be able to move forward to forget about these losses. They're learning. They're not in conference. Right. They're learning experiences because our goal is to be playing our best volleyball end of October, beginning of November. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and speaking of uh, big matches, kind of shifting gears a little bit, um, next week you've got a couple of big ones coming up mm -hmm. first. Um, on Tuesday at home, 7 o'clock here at um, Owensville Gymnasium, we have uh, Arcadia coming in and rematch of last year's conference title game. And, you know that uh, Arcadia's going to come in here fired up. They are. They play with lots of intensity, and uh, we will be ready for Arcadia. Uh, the Both matches last year were really super intense matches, but we have been in super intense matches before. We've yeah. been a lot of them all, already this year. Right. So, uh, and to get that on our home court, 
yeah. with that win last night against Leb Val, yeah. that game on Tuesday will be huge. Of course, that game is meaningless unless we can win Saturday against Lycoming. Yeah. If we don't win Saturday against Lycoming, that Arcadia match absolutely. Isn't, isn't, isn't as meaningful. Yeah, absolutely. And then um, on Thursday, you travel, take a short trip over to Johns Hopkins, a team that uh, eventually eliminated you from the NCAAs last year. And don't again, bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> and again, just two very intense matches with yeah. them last year that were both on this floor. You'll have to mm -hmm. go there this time. Yes. Well, and, you know, the Hopkins is always on our schedule. Did you say I think they're ranked like 16th in the yes. country or something yeah. like that around there? They're undefeated. Uh, and gosh, when we lost last year, we hadn't lost since 2012 yeah. to them. And, and it's always a great match. And so, uh, That'll be good to go down there and get another really tough match yeah. under our belts. And then, uh, you know, the more tough matches we play, the better, the better. And <laughs> Absolutely, because the goal yeah. is to be ready, like you the said, goal for, is to be, for November. The goal is to be, ready, playing, be ready for November. You play yeah. your best volleyball mm -hmm. at that time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And obviously, you know, going forward, you've got some some other matches, both in conference and out of conference, that are going to test you as well. Yeah, yeah we, we've got Stevens Tech coming in here, and yeah. they're, they're they're getting votes, and uh, Keen and Cabrini. Yeah, um, Marymount. And Marymount, who just beat Eastern 3-0. Yeah. We've got Susquehanna coming in, mm -hmm. and they're get, you know, they were getting votes, so yeah. uh, a lot of really good teams. Yeah, absolutely. All right, Coach, well, I um, wish you the best of luck going forward, and um, I'm sure we'll chat soon. Okay, thanks, Greg. All right, for Dave Trumbo, I'm Greg Royce. This has been the Dave Trumbo Show.